Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Eric or Ninja XTX, and welcome to Port 95 in my knife show pet series. Now, for the next three installments, we're going to cover something I'd like to call the Force Continuum. Now, the Force Continuum can be applied to knife fighting, or excuse me, knife self defense. Or it can be applied to unarmed self-defense because it's just a mindset. It's split into three levels. You've got the green level, the yellow level, and the final and and some may say the most important level, the red level. Now, today we're going to discuss the green level. Now, the green level is just where you're just relaxed, chilling, and there's no, there's no, uh, thread around you. That's where you can relax. Let your guard down and just be amongst friends or be or yourself, whichever you choose to do. But also in the green level, you also have to be aware of your surroundings just so that if anything does happen or if you feel that anything is about to happen, you know how to exit that situation. Um, case in point, as it comes to knife self-defense, yeah, you may have your knife, you may have your knife in your pocket or on your hip or whatever, but if you don't want to draw that knife prematurely because you don't want to look like the aggressor, because the second you the second you you are perceived as the aggressor, that's the second that you have legal issues. So that's the that's the now next week next week we would dive more in depth into it and talk about the yellow level. I hope this way you see it. And if you guys want me to expand on the green level, I will, but I think it's self explanatory. Um, please take care of yourselves and each other in the world with love. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, Please send me my YouTube account, or if you know how to get in touch with me on Facebook, please do so there. Thank y'all. Bye-bye for now.